you three has dared to destroy the silver chair. I did. Ah. And these my true friends have helped to deliver me. We do it again too. <laughs> and in this madness, who do you now think you are? I am Prince Rillian. <laughs> Only child of Caspian, tenth of that name, King of Narnia. Leave us! some unfortunate nation that never did me wrong, murdering their natural lords and holding their throne for you as a foreign and bloody tyrant. Now that I do know myself, I utterly renounce that plan as plain villainy. Now, will you give us conduct? Out of your realm. up above, where you can see the sky and the stars and the sun. Why, well, you've been there yourself. We met you there. I met you. <laughs> we often meet our friends in strange places when we dream. But unless all dream alike, not ask others to remember it. <laughs> Madam, I've already told your grace that I am the son of the king of Narnia. And shalt be king of many imagined lands in thy fancies. <laughs> We've been there too. Oh. And I suppose thou art queen of Narnia. Pretty one. <laughs> I'm nothing of the sort. We come from another world. That other world is all a dream. Oh. 
all a dream. There never was such a world. There never was such a world. There never was any world but mine. Madam, you can say what you like and still you won't make me forget Narnia. We'll never see it again, I shouldn't wonder, and you may have blotted it out and made it dark like this for all I know. But I know I was there. How do you know you were there? How? Hmm? How? How? Why? I've seen a sky full of stars. And I've seen the sun rise up out of the sea of a morning and sink beyond the distant mountains at night. And I've seen him up in the midday sky when I couldn't look at him for the brightness. <laughs> Blessings of Aslan upon this honest marsh wiggle. How could we have forgotten it? Of course we've all seen the sun. Sun? The sun is but the children's story. Yes, I see now. There is no sun. There is no sun. There never was. There's Asla. Dazla. What a pretty name. Forget all these childish things. Face life here in this real world. Your life henceforth is to be here with me. You will do my work now. To bed with you. To sleep. one thing to say. Suppose, suppose we have only dreamed and made up these things like sun, sky, stars and moon and Aslan himself. In that case, it seems to me that the made up things are a good deal better than the real ones. And if this black pit of a kingdom is the best you can make. Then it's a poor world. And we four can make a dream world to lick your real one hollow. How dare you threaten me? As for me, I shall live like a Narnian. Even if there isn't any Narnia. So thanking you very much for supper. We're going to leave your court at once and make our way across your great darkness to search for our land above. Well said, Pallyvard, well said. Thanks for doing Gentlemen, I thank you. I am avenged. For the serpent that killed my royal mother was undoubtedly the Green Lady. To think all this time I've been the slave of my mother's murderer. At last I'm free. We're not out of here yet. It won't be easy to escape, you know, no. It won't be easy. We'll probably be killed in the attempt.
I know exactly how to escape this world. You know? How? We must make for the new outlets being dug for the witch's planned invasion of the overworld. How close are they to breaking through? A matter of a few feet of earth. Then we'd all haste, mates. Ah, your highness, your eminence. Let's away! country and my father. What is this voyage he's gone upon? In Caspian, the southeast. So the far lands were explored together when he was very young. Time is different in our world, William. To me, it's only a matter of months ago. But to him, a lifetime. What is the object of his voyage? Only, he said, to see again the places of his youth. But many believe he hoped to meet Aslan to ask who could be the next king of Narnia, in case... He never expected to see me again. You're right, friend Wiggle. We must get home. Oh, look. The ceiling's getting lower. It's the diggings! The end. It's not rock. It's earth. We can dig our way through. That's if there's anything to dig to. Is it daylight? At least let's look. Something. 
to join Prince Rillian. He has gone to Care Paravel to meet his father, the old king, whose ship arrived today. Uh, what a to do to Lou. Well, mates, off you go. Goodbye, Puddle Glove. Sorry I ever called you a wet blanket. So am I. You've been the best friend in the world. I hope we meet again. Not much chance of that. I don't think I'll ever see my old wigwam again, either. I'm sure there have been floods and attacks by dragons while I've been away. Oh, hum. Such is life. You're a regular old humbug. He always seems miserable as a funeral. But I believe you're perfectly happy. And he says he's afraid of everything. When really, he's as brave as a lion. Homage to Rillian, King of Narnia. Hail oh, Aslan. I'm sorry for the mess we made of things. I forgot the signs and then... And we nearly got eaten by giants. And, well... Silence. I'm not here to scold. You have done well the work I sent you to do in Narnia. Please, may we go home now? I have come to bring you home. of Adam, go into that thicket and pluck the thorn that you will find there. Bring it to me. Drive it into my paw. Must I? You must.
We saw him with our own eyes. Yes, he has died. Most people have, you know. Even I have. I can see what's bothering you. I'm no ghost. If I appeared in Narnia, I suppose I'd be a ghost. But here, in Aslan's country... Aslan? Can we stay? No, child. When you meet here again, then you will have come to stay. Now you must go back to your own world. But we want to see you again. And you shall, child. You mean, sir, you are there too, in our world? I am. But there I have another name. You must learn to know me by that name. That was the very reason you were brought to Narnia. That by knowing me here a little, you may know me better there. Aslan, I have always wanted to have just a glimpse of their world. Is that wrong? You cannot want wrong things now that you have died, my son. You shall see their world for a few minutes of their time. Now, draw your swords, but use only the flat, not the blade, for it is cowards and children, not warriors you go to fight. Say goodbye, Caspian. 